Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. As you can see, I have a lot of bows in my hair right now. I've been seeing tons of cute hairstyles with really dainty little bows on people like Hailey Bieber, Madison Beer, um, Summer McKean actually did a re really cute look with them, so I thought it'd be fun to recreate some of my favorites and show you guys how to do it yourself. Have you noticed cute pink bows popping up everywhere? Here's five easy hairstyles with bows. Create a tiny braid from the hairline. Next, gather the hair from the ear upward, combed back into a high ponytail with the small braid. Section off with a small elastic and tie a thin bow around it. This is a subtle way to wear the trend that keeps your hair off the face. If you have curtain bangs or bangs in general, this next style will look great on you. Pick up a small section and then braid all the way down the hair. Elastic and finish off with another bow. This look is inspired by a post by Madison Beer, and it's my favorite because it adds a cute detail to long straight hair. Separate your hair over your shoulders and then split those in half, crossing the top two sections and grouping them with the bottom two from the opposite side. Wrap a bunch of thin ribbon around, add a bow and leave the ends super long to highlight the two ponytails. You can also pull these over your shoulders for pigtails. Obviously this one is not the most practical, but I had fun with it. And while I'm here, I thought that this fragrance definitely captured the vibe. This is, of course, by Penhaligans. I unboxed it in another video, but I just love the pink bow. I'm gonna spray some. Oh, that kind of hurt because my cat is a menace and bit me there. Hi, honey. Good boy. You look sweet, but you're a little evil. Bite me. Oh, you all. Oh, wow, you're sweet on camera. Usually he just bites the shit out of me. Good boy. Little angel. Hi, baby. Oh. I'm going to take these bows out and catch up with you guys tomorrow where I will show you a bunch of new home decor I got and kind of my kitchen makeover. It's going in quite a coastal direction, like lots of seashells. Let's talk home decor. If you can tell, I got new pink curtains. These ones are from Anthropology. I think they add such a fun pop of color out here. We live in an amazing world. We do. And I thought I would start off this haul with some Anais candles. They're a luxury candle brand and I already unboxed this one. Look at this beautiful sculpture. I've been wanting these so bad so I kept everything else in the box and I haven't looked at what they sent me. And I thought we could do an unboxing together. Oh my gosh. Look at her. These smell like white chocolate to me. Oh. Let's see what's next. Oh my gosh. This one's, oh, this one's kind of freaky. <laughs> she has like fabric all around her face, but it's super pretty at the back. Final two candles. Oh, it says on here what they are. Cupid candle. Really should get a knife or something. Ha. Aw. Look at this Cupid. There's so much detail on the wings. I want to keep some of these just as sculptures and then I'll burn maybe one of them. <laughs> oh, double layered creamy vintage cake. How pretty. Out here already smelled good because of the flowers, but now with the candles, oh, I'm in like a dream right now. The little card says, Anais candle is inspired by sculptures and art. Yes, we make luxurious, 100% clean burning, phthalate free candles for your home. Ooh, I need a wick trimmer. They're perfect. <laughs> Check out Anais candles if you're interested, even just on Instagram. Like I love following them to see all the designs they create. Oh, the blueberry. In other news, I've been filming a test run of this look today because it's inspired by one of my favorite looks ever. It's from a 1999 runway show and the whole theme is cherub inspired. And I saw that that was trending recently on TikTok. So I'm doing my own 
take on it which is really just trying to replicate it as best as I can and I thought that I could just easily like replicate the outfit on camera but it did not go too well so tonight I'm gonna be crafting it making sure that it'll actually stay put for when I really film it tomorrow Oh, and a couple days ago, I went to the antique store. There's one in Jacksonville called Great American Antiques, I think, and it's amazing. I love walking around there for hours. I ended up finding this beautiful anthropology rug that is outside. Here's the new rug, and then we have this table, flowers. Tyler's been picking me out flowers every week, which is really sweet from Publix. And then I have a bunch of craft stuff that I'm working with today. This was one of the items that I got from my antique haul. I absolutely love this. Got this glass bowl. We're gonna put shells in it from Beach Days. gonna put this here so we have another place for keys because we always lose them also have been shopping on Amazon for a couple cute touches these spoon holders that have a mermaid feel to them these beautiful glasses that I actually enjoy drinking water out of so I'll have all these linked down below if you're interested and something that I wanted to do that makes a big difference is changing over all the knobs from stainless steel to these adorable starfish I wanted to declutter all of my spices, so I got a set from Amazon, and I'm just dumping my old spices into the new containers. Keeping on with my mini tour of home decor details, I have this couch by the window and added some lace curtains, and even though it's a slightly different vibe, I added seashell pillows. Are you guys friends? Oh. These were quite cheap, but I really like how they look in the sun. I just cleaned the kitchen a little bit and see above that door, we have a big painting coming. I'll put it on screen. I'm so excited to see it. It'll fit the beach theme. Let me set this up. Oh, I got more things from the antique store. I thought these picture frames were pretty, so I have to find pictures to put in these. And for my cats, I got this sea turtle feeding bowl for both of them. I wanted to finish off this vlog with my favorite recipe. We're gonna be making a kale Caesar salad. It is so quick and easy and something that I've been eating at least like four times a week. And this is all we need. Kale, triple wash ready to eat. Oh shit, no! Uh -oh. I'm just gonna make a small portion. Mm, I'll make Tyler some. He won't be home till later. And then I'm kind of picky. I don't like the little stumps that much, so I take them out. And then I make the kale smaller just with my hands. I don't mind the stalks, but I don't like any big chunky ones. No chunky stocks. These are my favorite croutons, cheese and garlic croutons by New York Bakery. Anything by this brand in terms of croutons is ideal. Almost there. This Caesar is the best. I found it on a blog. I was like Googling what's the best Caesar dressing from the drugstore. So I got this at Publix and it's the Ken Steakhouse Creamy Caesar. All time favorite. This bowl is the freaking best. Again, an Amazon purchase. 
Obviously this is a very easy recipe, but it's not so much the recipe, it's like getting this, this specifically and this. And it makes such a difference. set that I got from the antique store as well. Gorgeous. To make it more like a chopped salad from New York, I don't have chicken, but I am gonna add a little piece of really crispy bread at the side, so that's toasting. The butter dish is so cute. And I burnt my toast. This is the wine I'm having right now, by the way. Savion Blanc. Who's a good kitten? Good boy. He's so fun to pick up. And he always wants to try human food. He's a raccoon. Are you a raccoon? Are you big? Are you on out? You on down? <laughs> Well, I'm gonna finish eating this outside with my wine and I think I'm gonna read the new Pamela Anderson book that came out. I bought that a couple days ago and I just started it. Also have to put together that floral outfit, so wish me luck. Back in the same bandeau and roll clips of all of the DIYing I've been doing this morning. All sorts of flowers, leaves, ribbon, more flowers. Also, if you like these nails, they're by Olive and June. They're my favorite. These have been on for two weeks now. You can see them growing out. And I find the short nails do not stay put for me, but these ones do. These are the medium length, so I picked up a couple more. Got this pink Cheetalicious one, and then this blue set. And they're my all-time favorites. There's something about the glue that is amazing. It doesn't wreck my natural nail photo here and I'm going to try to place on all those clips that I made to recreate the look. I'm really hoping this works out and I forgot about this skirt. There is like a big train skirt so I'm gonna head to Michael's after this but first I have to make sure the first bit works out. Perfect. It's actually working better than I thought. So I think I'm gonna add more leaves around here and then drape it through because it definitely looks like there's more leaves on hers. But so far, pretty good. good. I have a couple flowers that I have to touch up and the headpiece I'm gonna put on when I have all the curls. But yes, this was the behind the scenes of my DIY project here. These are a little big. I might trim them down now that I am taking a good look at it. I'm gonna take some screenshots and like mess with it from here. Here's the test run. Voila. Changed into this very casual crop top. This is from when I lived in La Jolla. I still do miss San Diego a lot. That's my favorite place I've lived, but I love the weather in Florida. It is stunning right now. It feels like summer. And I'm headed to Michael's to try to find something to DIY the skirt. If I can't do it, it's not the biggest deal. Usually I just do like half up body shots anyway. But um, yeah, let's head to Michael's and we're gonna get the painting stretched. At Michael's. Some cute Easter stuff. These cute bunnies. Morning stickers, bright colors. So pretty. 
pretty. I always leave with lots of flowers. Target's tempting. Moving on to the skirt, I found a foam wreath at Walmart and I cut it in half. It happened to fit right on my hips. And then I got about six feet of this pretty pink fabric that has some sheen to it, draped it over the wreath, cut it into a rounded shape at the back with a matching ribbon that has some wire in it. I'm crinkling it up like an accordion motion, expanding it back out using that hot glue gun on the outside and inside. And we can't forget the little details like a floral wristlet and anklet. This ribbon's really pretty to add leaves to it. And I had a blast crafting this. Got these pretty pots. This whole set I fell in love with, so I picked this up to add to the outdoor area. And we're hanging these up. But I will see you guys in my next vlog and check out my main channel video if you want to see it. Full look turned out.